If you've been following this video series, you should have imported and converted your GoPro clips and have an understanding of the editing layout. If you've missed those steps, I've left links in the description box below this video for easy reference. In this video, we'll take a look at creating your very own video project. There are two ways to create a video project, using a pre-built template or creating a new project from scratch. If you are not already at this window, hit the load template button to access it. We will find several templates to choose from, or can download even more from GoPro's online library, depending on whether we want a fast paced or mellow project. We can select a template and hit create. This loads the template into our storyboard timeline. Thankfully GoPro have done all the hard work for us. Along with video clips, you'll find the text and audio already in place. It's now as simple as dragging and dropping your imported clips into the desired places on the storyboard. The template clips will be replaced with your own. As with the importing process, by selecting a clip you are able to select in and out points for the section you wish to use. And drag down to use only that section of the clip. When it comes to text or audio tracks, these can be moved by clicking and dragging to the desired location in your project. Or the length changed by clicking on an edge and dragging to lengthen or shorten the time the text stays active on the screen. It's all refreshingly simple to use. For more advanced tweaking, select a clip and the information in the right panel will highlight settings for that currently active clip. The same is true when selecting text or audio tracks. Here you are able to tweak video settings such as speed and create fade-ins and fade-outs, adjust audio levels for that clip, as well as more fine-tuned adjustments to the clip's white balance, exposure, contrast, saturation and sharpness. And finally some framing settings to zoom in and out of clips and ensure it's orientated and lined up correctly in the preview window. Finally GoPro have included some presets for you to choose from or use as a baseline for further tweaking. If you find and download your own online, clicking the cog just above will allow you to import them. When changing settings, the preview window instantly updates, so keep a close eye on it to make sure you've got things just the way you want them. For those after even more flexibility, or simply wanting to create their own personalised video project, in the template selection screen, select blank template, and start your own edit from scratch. Select your clips, Mark in and out points where necessary, and drag down to the storyboard. With all relevant clips added, you now have greater control over your project. As with a template, selecting a clip highlights its advanced settings in the right panel, where you are able to tweak away. So you may wish to select the initial clip and fade it in rather than have it start abruptly, and select the final clip to add a fade out. For times when you wish to split a clip, you may want to delete part of a clip or tweak settings on one part of the clip for example, simply drag the playhead to where you wish to split, and hit the split button. Simple. As it stands, one clip ends and the next suddenly begins. To add a nicer blend effect, click the small plus icon between the clips. Now one clip will blend seamlessly into the next, great for more mellow parts of your project. Adding text is also an easy procedure. In the left pane hit the title button to create a new title, which you can drag down into one of the two title tracks. Once in position and with the title selected, head over to the right panel and add your text. Choose your font and size options, and use the settings to tweak its characteristics, changing opacity, fade in and fade out settings, as well as its placement in your project. Finally, drag the text to the correct point under the storyboard, and adjust its duration. You can also add text to the main project by dragging the text item in between clips, as well as at the start or end of your project. 
To add your own audio tracks, hit the media button to locate and choose the track and bring it into your video project. Now drag down to an audio track under the storyboard and again the settings panel updates to allow audio levels to be changed as well as fade in and fade outs to be created. It will take a little time and patience to build your project but the learning curve is rather flat so you'll be editing and creating video projects in no time. Join me in the next video where we'll take a look at exporting your final edit.